Okay, so uh, yeah, thanks for having me here um, and good evening. I'm just going to share with you regarding uh, uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, well, I'm from Microsoft. Uh, I'm a technical evangelist in Microsoft. So uh, one of my job is just to share the technology uh, in a Microsoft ecosystem. So uh, Microsoft also have cloud, which is already like six years, more than six years. So it's been, it's not, it's not new. It's already, it's already like very mature. And uh, some of you maybe use Magento, but you haven't tried in Azure, for example. Uh, I know others, some other cloud have uh, Magento as well, but uh, I'm not going to do some slide because uh, <laughs> it's better just to directly uh, demo. do the demo. So uh, this is uh, the portal, the Azure management portal. Uh, as you can see in here, it's uh, just a normal portal. So uh, if you want to uh, have Azure account, or if you just go to azure.com, then you just get a free $200 for one month testing. Uh, use your email. But uh, it requires you to put the credit card for verification only. After one month, if you don't continue, then it's done. If you want to continue, you can use pay as you go. Meaning that even if you register, uh, you use your credit card. If you never use, then the billing always zero. Okay, I can assure you, your billing will always zero, unless you put something, you run something, then it will. Yeah, because the billing in in Azure is uh, by minute, the billing per minute. So if you create something, ten minutes after that you shut down, you only pay ten minutes. Yeah, that's why they call it pay as you go. So uh, yeah, let's go to Magento uh, because a lot of things in here. Uh, I think it's more, three, more than 3,000, nearly 4,000, uh, yeah, you, you can name it. But I'm just going to type Magento here to search the Magento. And here's what you have Magento in Azure. Ah, yeah. Uh, the publisher is AppDirect, uh, Bitnami, of course, the famous one. And then you have this, you have this, uh, Cognosis, everything. What else? So this is the Magento available in Azure, and all you have to do is just click and then create, and you spin the Magento and done. So it's uh, less than four minutes. You spin it, everything is done. So I'm uh, just going to do the, yeah, like this, and then I'm just going to create one. I'm just using Bitnami. Lah. <laughs> I prefer Bitnami. Okay. It's just the basic. Uh, you just put any name your name dart vader server name sorry but <laughs> i pressed the wrong button yep very simple vietnami create dart vader uh, username uh, riza and you can choose uh, SSH public key or you want to use password. I'm just going to use password. And then uh, if you have a subscription uh, like BSpark, MSDN, or personal like pay, pay as you go, you can use this. I have two, which is the MSDN. The other one is the <laughs> Azure internal because uh, yeah, I work here, so I have the internal one. Uh, and then you can create the resource group. Resource group is to group your uh, infrastructure, your data center in the cloud. So you can name it my Magento Cloud One, for example. Everything inside you can put up what, what? one server, 100 server, 200 server. You can put there and then you create your own data center and then you can run it. So I'm just going to work the resources. Yeah. And then you can choose the region. So the region is, uh, we have this region, eh? uh, like, yeah, everywhere. So uh, currently, we have in the 32 region. So if you combine uh, AWS and Google combined, we still have a lot. <laughs> we still, yeah. So we have in 32 region, including China. China, Australia, India, we have, I think we have three. But for example, if China, you, you cannot directly buy in here. You must have uh, uh, an entity 
company in, in China, then you'll be able to, to use it. Uh, that's the regulation. So uh, Southeast Asia is, uh, we are very lucky, Singapore. So it's in the data center is in Singapore, so, so that will be very fast. And I just click like that, and then you'll be able to choose uh, the virtual machine size from the smallest one. I'm going to view all to the Godzilla <laughs> G series, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, gigantic Godzilla, yeah. Well, uh, you can use the, the, the from the cheapest one, like this one, for $14, for example. Uh, I'm afraid you cannot use the free one in here. Yeah, Magento cannot use the free one because it's a uh, bit nummy. Or you can use like, for example, I just want to show, I'm not going to choose the, yeah, like this one, for example. Yeah, this G, G is Godzilla. And yeah, some of them is like very powerful. So yeah, you can choose that. You can start from this one, for example. Uh, yeah, this one has a SSD. Uh, 3,200 IOPS, uh, load balancing, auto scale, and premium disk support. So this is uh, the latest one, version two. Okay. So let's just just choose this and select. I'm just going to show. Yep. And after that, here's the setting for the storage. Uh, you can use the standard or premium SD, SSD, and the storage account, and the virtual network. Everything uh, that you create. You choose the parameter and then OK. And you get the summary of what you're going to create. And then you create, uh, click OK, and done. OK? You just wait for two minutes, three minutes, OK? Then you will uh, you'll see the server. So I already create one, which is in my resource group here. I call it the Magento demo. <laughs> Yeah, here's my here's my small data center <laughs> using Magento, and this is my server. Okay, and we can go to the server. First, I can go to the uh, which is already running actually. Uh, this is the name is still using the Azure Cloud name. Of course, you can change the domain, obviously. So this is the Magento. Uh, let's go to the party. Just this one and open. Oops, what did I click? Yep. <laughs> what is the password? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I can reset this, but never forget the password. I think I forgot the password. <laughs> uh, what password did I may choose? <laughs> okay, one more, one more try. Please don't. <laughs> okay, one, one more try. <laughs> what did I choose? That song? <laughs> Say your public key. Huh? Say your public <laughs> key. Keybase access. Yeah, that's why it's, it's, you can you actually it's better to use that. No, just now I just create to spin uh, to spin the 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 server. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, this is the <laughs> and actually uh, when you create yeah, at the beginning and when I w want to run it, they pointing to a certain uh, uh, IP, which is uh, I don't know what is the IP, and apparently I have to do this. I think you you, you know what I'm talking about. You need to change the uh, yes. So once I change this to my uh, Magento host name, then everything start working normally. Yeah. And this one, login. Oh my god, what did I put now? 
okay should be okay okay <laughs> I forgot totally forgot the password okay don't worry it's, it's just a cloud the good thing is the cloud that you can just reset yeah yeah that's yay <laughs> okay so this is the the uh, yeah you know so from this side so uh, the thing is the idea is uh, the idea is uh, in Azure you can do this and you can use the scaling if you want to add more a uh, one or more server for example it's very easy all you have to do just add and the storage everything is uh, uh, a lot of things then you can monitor uh, monitor all your usage everything this is the simplest one actually you can create is the most complex data center you want in the cloud using Azure as well. So what I'm showing to you is actually a very, very simple one. But if you think that you need to crank up the powerful Magento uh, e-commerce to yeah, handling millions of requests, then you can. And the good thing is that in Azure, the last thing I'm going to share with you is uh, we also have, like, for example, like the serverless, the containers, is all available. Anything the latest technology available? Huh? Lambda? No, we call it Azure Functions. Azure Functions. Yeah. yeah. In AWS, they call it Lambda, uh, but it's serverless. Serverless is not meaning you do, you don't have the server. No, that the servers meaning that your app model is serverless, not the data center without server. <laughs> because sometimes when people say serverless is oh data center without server, no, your app model is serverless. That's that's the, the the meaning. So you can use Azure function. You can use any uh, anything in here if you yeah. You just go uh, create your account, Azure account, and yeah, try to look everything in here. Uh, yeah, you have Red Hat everything. Uh, by the way, uh, Magento is Linux. Okay, so you can use Linux, and of course you can use container if you want it. Uh, yeah, maybe I can try to create one and put in the hub, in the Docker hub, because also uh, we uh, we ha currently we have the so-called the Azure container and we have the Windows container. So uh, Windows has a container, <laughs> and it's using Docker management API the same. So you don't have to learn anything. Use Docker command <laughs> exactly, but it's using Windows. So similar, all the command line, everything is similar. Yeah. So that that is the. Uh, Azure. So if you want to try, go ahead. I kind of like uh, the portal if compared with other cloud. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this one is. And this one is uh, mobile friendly. Yeah, you can open it. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not going to manage your cloud using mobile. <laughs> it's like uh, too many things to scroll. And this one, you can, of course, you can manage the, yeah. The other one is uh, once you already use Azure, because Magento is just web. Uh, the, the final one I'm going to share with you is Power BI. Because this is, yeah, Power BI is the reporting engine, business intelligence. Uh, yeah. So you can create from here, and then you can just embed inside your uh, administrator, for example, for Magento, showing anything, anything that is uh, uh, for business intelligence. Statistic, but yeah. For example, I show it to you. Simple. You see, you can get data from anywhere. Or online service. You see that? Ooh, look at that. You see? Market to everything. GitHub. I can just connect to GitHub. Connect. And then I'm just gonna let's go to check Microsoft One, and then. .NET, for example, it's going to follow this. So you can create a beautiful reporting uh, Power BI, and then you just embed in your, uh, yeah, from, they will collect from your database. Any database, you can see that there's MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, anything that you need. Just want to get the contribution, load, evaluating, creating model, and that's it. You see this on the left side, all I have to do just click this, for example, click this, click this. Kind of like, kind of like uh, 
Excel, but yeah. <laughs> so you can create this kind of thing and then embed inside the Magento, for example, for additional purpose. That's the the thing that I mean. Huh? Power BI. Uh, you can. Yeah, this one is easy. I do it free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you want to, of course, the enterprise one, the the. If you do, you're using for business, I suggest don't use the free one, lah. Because even if you can do it, but it's it's very slow, for example, or there's always a limitation, lah. Free is always, a, <laughs> yeah. So the enterprise one, uh, you 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 can just uh, spin up and yeah, everything is inside Azure. You can just go here and then spin it up, yeah. Okay. So uh, that's it. Maybe any questions before? Yeah, that's my part. <laughs> So the cloud is very powerful, Azure. Uh, you, I, I recommend you just try it first. Okay, just just try to to use uh, for Magento, for example. Uh, I believe the speed will be the same. Why? Because it's Linux, the same. <laughs> it's just a Linux, but a different cloud, and easier to manage everything. You can put in here all of your stuff in here, so you don't have to go around. Yeah. Okay. So, so something I will look out for is. Uh, Azure by default has a spending limit. Yep. So if you, if you expect you don't, if you expect your services to take up a lot of bandwidth, like a high traffic period, uh, you might want to turn off that limit because otherwise, like, <laughs> yeah. some, of my, some of my sites actually <laughs> suddenly it just went down because yeah, because you use the spending it, limit, yeah. Spending yes. So the idea is what I do. Uh, is like I recommend to use uh, don't uh, use the what do you call it the monitor the the what the hit the hit uh, request, and then if you think that is uh, you, for example you 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 the threshold is one thousand. Uh, sorry, the threshold is eight hundred out of one thousand. Once it's eight hundred, send you an email for example, or notification, or you use Twilio in here, send SMS to you. Oops! <laughs> you just open your portal and remove the spending limit or increase the spending limit, so uh, you can do like that. You can manage. The good thing in, in cloud that uh, you can manage, like this one, you see subscription, everything. You can you can add almost anything in here. You can you see billing, everything. Yeah, I yeah. Okay, too many. <laughs> TLDR. <laughs> yeah, and of course because this is a cloud. Is open source, not all the cloud open source. I mean, the 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 connector, the tooling, everything. You can create a script out of it. You can create an API out of it. So you'll be happy. Now Microsoft released the billing, the portal billing. I just I put the I forgot the name. Yeah. So you can create your own billing. But the the billing I think is using the Node.js. <laughs> the billing is Node.js, but it's okay. Of course they have analytics, is a machine learning. Uh, cognitive service, yeah, <laughs> you need to, yeah, anything the cloud that uh, cloud can give to you is everything is in here. So it's uh, it's a one stop for me. It's one stop. You just go here, new. You just type something here. Give a hint, one hint, <laughs> one hint. Anything, I'll type in here. It will show in here. For example, so it's uh, it's very uh, it's complete everything. For mobile data storage, analytic, Internet of Things, uh, the Azure IoT suite, security. If you want to beef up security, for example, in Magento, if your connection string to the MySQL still in the code, you can remove that. You can uh, use the Azure Key Vault, which is which is using the HSM inside the cloud, high hardware security module. So the developer or anyone who manages the the code. We'll never going to see the connection string, but it will always connect to the database. So uh, you, you know, huh? Like environment variable? Uh, no, it's uh, HSM, hardware security module. So you create a key, cryptographic key there. The key will never come out from the machine. You, you know the HSM machine, like Talos or SafeNet, that kind of thing. Well, Azure using Talos. So same like a bank, the PIN, the card number is put it, put it inside. You can encrypt everything, so it will be secure. And uh, if you use, for example, like database like SQL Server or SQL Database, there is always encrypted. For example, yeah, uh, yeah, you can do that kind of things. Almost anything, almost anything, yeah. 
complete. And for me, it's uh, quite cheap compared to your on-premise, lah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Compared to on-premise, compared to other other cloud, I see relative. But look at the service and the yeah the trust everything. Okay, any more questions? Then I I'm done. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, it's clear DB, but clear. but you can create your own, <laughs> yeah. But if you want to use the scale one, uh, the one that is managed by someone, mm -hmm. then use clear DB. Uh, to me, it's because you see all the the things is already implemented. You can use the Azure Resource Manager to manage the scalable, create your own MySQL infrastructure. Yeah. It's easier for, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. And uh, if you go to the ARM, Azure Quick Template, Quick Start Template, you see that a lot of expert in infrastructure, here, template. They contribute. So you don't invent the wheel. <laughs> this is not only Microsoft. You see this all? Whoa, you see all the people here? Wow, look at that. Almost anything you need is available in here. No need to invent the wheel. And this one is a, you can just use, execute. It will create the entire data center in the cloud. It's just put your parameters, execute, wait. <laughs> and it generate the, the data center. See, even anti-malware anti extension, <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa, Cisco, I'm on D now, you see? <laughs> The Docker, Elastic, I believe also PHP available here. Python, maybe not PHP the name, don't worry, <laughs> it's available in here. I see one. SAP, WordPress also available. Single VM Ubuntu. I don't know who created this. A month ago, <laughs> yeah, someone created this. So it's just a JSON file. Yeah, it's just a JSON file. Yep. You can click deploy directly. Ah, here is just like this. It's just the parameters, and using one liner, Azure ARM. Uh, sorry, I forgot the the command line. Azure, there's something uh, option command, and then there's you put the uh, file JSON file. Then that's it. They will execute. So not like what I did just now manually. You can just execute. This one is more faster, of course, because it's using API. Yeah, that's it. So see all the it's just the parameters. Okay. Okay, that's it uh, for me. Thank you very much for the time, and uh, hopefully you can try using Azure as well for Magento. And I would like to really, really want to, want to see the the performance, right? Yeah, <laughs> you see. So it's not only the other cloud, but yeah, Azure is also one of the best. Yeah, you are very near now with with the competitor. We are already the yeah on the on the right side, catching up. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. Thank yeah. You.